started as a totally normal day. The wife and I woke at the alarm that, to her, was always too goddamn early. She would take her time rejoining the land of the wake while I take my shower. But she did make a hell of a typical breakfast. Eggs, bacon, toast. She always made the eggs scrambled. I prefer over easy, but I hate the way she makes them. So I'd lie and tell her scrambled was my favorite. I'd kiss her goodbye and be on my way to work. The emotional torture that is customer service. When at work, I'd find the time to sit back and wonder what the wife was up to. Now, I'd like to preface this with saying I lost my cool when I found out after he left. But who wouldn't? I gave her everything she wanted, I worked all day so she could stay home and work on her painting, and in return, she was fucking my best friend. The nerve someone has to have to be so ungrateful. I trusted her, I loved her, and she pissed all over it. Despite her face turning blue and her beautiful eyes bulging from her head as I grip her neck and scream in her face, I still love her. But she is filthy. I think that is the worst crime of all. Cheating. It feels right that she should die here, just like this. First, I drag the body to the basement with plans to take out her teeth and nails and scorch the body later. Now, this would prevent any kind of identification if the body was ever found. That, of course, was all for later. I had another fucking fish to fry. I made a call to my good friend. I told him the wife fell and we needed help getting to the emergency room. Not a total lie. I didn't even wait to see the look on his face before I hit it with my wife's favorite frying pan. I brought this body to the other. Looking at them both, side to side, made me sick. It twisted my gut until I felt like I was bleeding. My throat was swollen, all I could do was gag. Somehow, these corpses looked happy together. I just imagined them alive and happy and fucking each other behind my back. I gave them a taste of how I felt. I sat outside for nearly an hour to cool off. I had full intentions of mutilating the corpses beyond identification. Pull the teeth out and the nails off, then total scorch of the bodies. But when I opened the door, the bodies were gone. Someone had moved them and now they were after me. It was a foolish thought, but I wish it were true. Identification. 
now, overnight in a storm, I am mutilated beyond identification just as I planned to do to them. I cannot help but to feel as if all of this could be avoided if I had just told her how I felt about the egg so she could make them right. Maybe I would have been there for her.